Hello, we have here the Temples E full gauge controller. This is a controller that can work as a timer and uh, I will demonstrate here how it works. Uh, here we have a digital input that is used to start or pause the, the counting. Uh, it is atta attached to a button. I have the same, I have a second digital input here that is used to stop the counting that is attached to the second button here. Uh, the power supply is connected to ports 9 and 10 in this case because it's 115 volts, my power supply. And this controller has two outputs. We're gonna use the output 1 here, connect to a light to check when the output's on. So let's power up the controller and see how we can set up the timer. Okay, the controller is in the counting mode now, so we're gonna go and change it for the timer mode. So we hit here with the flat tech, that's the upper left key, until we find the funk menu, this menu. We hit set and the code appears in the display. So we hit set again and we're gonna use the upper arrow key, arrow key and uh, set 123. and hit set. These codes enable the edition mode on the controller. So now we're gonna go and look for node. In this parameter we can change the operation mode of the Temples E controller from Fogalf. It has um, three modes of operation. This is the counting mode. mode. There is the cyclical mode and the timer mode. This is the one that we would like to demo today. So let's hit set. Now we need to check the, the time base used in the timer. So we're gonna go and look for units, unit one, because, because these controllers can have three presets available. We're gonna use just one, that is the preset one. Uh, let's. Ah, uh, it took it took to me. Uh, I was explaining here, and the the controller come back to the uh, normal display, the, the original display mode. So we're gonna need to go back, insert the one, two, three, the one hundred and twenty three edition code, and go to that function again. So let's go. So we're gonna this unit one is the unit of the preset, the time base that we would like. We'd like seconds and hundreds, but we also can use minutes and hours. Okay, we're gonna go for seconds as it was, and probably gonna set like a 10 seconds. So let's search for TRC1, that's the timing of the preset. Now it's 5 seconds, so let's change it to 10 seconds, just to demonstrate. So it's seconds and hundreds here. Let's put 10 seconds, hit set. And now it's supposed to, now it's supposed to be set, everything to work as a timer. And... Uh, we have here, okay, let's wait it to go to the normal screen again, to the, the operation screen. Yes, it came back there, it says 10 seconds. So we have this key here attached to the start, uh, start and pause um, digital input. And when you hit here to start it, 
this light probably turn should turn on. Let's check it. The light is on, and when finishes the, the counting of the timer, it's supposed to turn off. Yes, it worked. So if I would like to reset it and start again, I just need to close and open the contact again, and it will be there working. So this is the timer operation mode on Temple's e full gauge controller. Uh, I have some questions sometimes of people asking, oh, every time that, that I shut off the controller from the power supply, uh, this loses the memory or not? So uh, people ask me it, it a lot. So let's see, check it now. Uh, it's not supposed to lose the memory and it's supposed to have everything set as it was before. Uh, it's set now. So... So uh, this is all the steps that you need to set up the timer mode on Temple's E full gauge, full gauge controllers. Uh, enjoy it and uh, you can use it for your application as you as required. Thank you. Bye bye.